Good morning, friends. It's Nancy, and it's Self Care Sunday. So I have already updated my journal for the things that I need to do this week. I've already had my first cup of coffee. I'm on to my second. <laughs> I had mentioned um, on Friday, I think, that I was hoping I would be able to do some um, projects inspired by this uh, 2018 um, Somerset Studio, but I the the stuff that I want. It's still in a bedroom upstairs. I have, it hasn't made its way downstairs yet. It's only 6.30 in the morning and I don't want dug up yet. <laughs> so I thought, I want to make some tiny collages. Maybe I will... I've got some tag ba little tag bases. I've got some little tags. <clears throat> got some slightly bigger tags. And uh, just spend some time being creative. This is one of the books that I got at the book sale. I went back yesterday. I went out yesterday morning with uh, the youngsters. I'm just looking for a knife, as always. I have four of them, and I can never find one. Did I put it under something? Like, what? Where could you be? Okay. With the youngsters, so Jordan and his uh, lady friend. Isn't this the most beautiful end paper you've ever seen? It's kind of bright. And... And the, the back of it is white, unfortunately. So I'm wondering if a bath and some tea might help to sort of subdue it a bit. That's beautiful. Anyway. Um, went out for breakfast with Doug and Jordan and his lady friend and Jordan's roommate and, um, a former student of mine who became nearly like a daughter to me, um, who I haven't seen very much since COVID. So, I see her partner more often than I see her, because he works in a, a hub, a service hub, where I work sometimes. I'm trying to get this gauze, because sometimes this gauze is fun. Anyway, save you. And then after breakfast, I went to back to the book sale at the the church. Where I was on Friday. So I had been one of the first people through on Friday. And when I went yesterday, it was really, really picked over. So I still managed to get a few things. Um, but it was nothing exciting, and it was things where I was only going to use probably a few pages from the books rather than get a lot of 
good stuff all in one one book. I've got a couple books for Doug. Um, one was a coffee table book all about uh, Martin guitars. And we've been to um, the Martin guitar factory in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. That was quite a few years ago now. I bet you that was... Ooh, got to be a, at least a dozen years. So, um, the price was right. It was fill box for 15 bucks. So I got him, uh, I got him that book and I got him another book about... History of um, flight, so you know early airplanes and things. <clears throat> okay. So basically, I was just you know looking around for things I could just fill a box. It goes to a really good. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna try to tee that. Yet. I love that there's a big dandelion, chicory, garlic. This, I think this is dill. So I'm just going to go through this and see if there's any pictures that I might like. fan of the lavender. I'm just seeing if there's any words I want to keep. Kind of too small, really. I think I'm going to tear it. I was thinking I might fussy cut it, but I think I'm going to tear it. Lavender is supposed to be very calming. Breakfast was great. I had... I had... Holiday... Um, Eggs Benedict, but it was not... It wasn't traditional Benedict. It was bacon, tomato, and smoked Gouda. I'm tearing this out because I might... might use the lavender image. I don't know. Just reading about the lavender. Uh, 
There's a pretty one. Marigold scented sugar. Let's make us something out of her. for a piece of paper. It's proving more difficult than I expected. Oh, what's this? Back of the music book. Sounds good to me. Anything else in here? I need I'm just doing some subtle tearing. Actually, I'm going to do it from this direction. Doug had something called Some Like It Hot because he loves hot spicy food. So it had chorizo sausage and I don't know what all was in it, but he said it was hot. And at this restaurant, they make all their own stuff. So they make their own hot sauce. They make their own. This one I'm going to take a little more off the top, I think. Um, they make their own hot sauce. They make their own jam. And they serve it on a little... Uh, like a, you know, one of those wonton soup kind of spoons. <laughs> um, roughen up this a bit with my sponge. And they off they offer the jam for sale too. Okay. I feel like it needs something else. Maybe I'll ink up the scratches first. It got busy fast when we were there too. They, unfortunately, they don't open till eight o'clock. And once that door opens, everybody comes in. I don't know if I can use this or not.
going to use my um, I'm not going to use my um, tearing ruler. I'm just going to use the straight edge. And take a little of this off, make it look a little uneven. Okay, I'm gonna add something to it, but I haven't seen what I'm gonna add to it yet. No, but I'm gonna layer on something. Anyway, what I was saying was, I went back to the book sale, um, got a, a, a box full, nothing terribly exciting. This was one of the books. Again, I saw a handful of pictures that I might like to use. But that's about it. I'm going to cut off a little more of this. A little closer to the edge. So... Don't have a lot of excitement planned for this week. Um, a lady that uh, gave me some vintage paper a few weeks ago. He, she sent me a message the other day asking if I wanted some vintage uh, green cards. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> so I'm going to make a trek down to her place. She's just in Cambridge um, this morning to get those. But I think I'll wait till a more humane hour. What are we at? 7.12. I got up about 5.30. I laid there for a while because I knew the coffee wouldn't be ready until about quarter to six. <laughs> it's nice just having... A little bit of quiet and solitude all to yourself. I'm going to use my little exacto knife. A little far away from my face. <laughs> this 
So I'm not sure how great it's going. Probably I'll get groceries too. I feel like we waste a lot of food. Get groceries and then have no idea what to do with them. <laughs> it was great last week when we had that beautiful weather. We barbecued a couple of times. But might layer that on there. Not directly onto the dress. I might add a little bit of um, I think this is tracing paper. No, nope, I'm going to use my tear ruler. I'm going to throw you out because you're annoying me. Ugh. A little bit of ink to give it that glow. Mm -hmm. I just thought of something. flowers somewhere, but maybe not. Let me 
with some of this gauze from a different book. my mind about that. It's too bright. Too bright, too bright. So what are you working on today? You're working on your own project or maybe you're working on a cup of tea. Just wanted to rough that up a bit. <clears throat> it's not sticking. Now I got the glue on the wrong side. better. Sorry, I'm just trying to relocate a wire that's bugging me. like a fun page. I wonder what it's from.
cleaner tear. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I've torn that out, but now I'm not so sure what I'm going to do with it. Look at that one, that's fun. This one I think I'll just do straight edge. Oh, for up top. I'm putting my scraps in the wrong box. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to scrape a little just to take some of the gloss off so the ink will show up good. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I do think I'm going to go with uh, a music page again. got this paper. This was uh, covering some French lace I bought not too long ago. Okay. 
fun bit about this is I can ink and glue on the pages I'm not going to use. I didn't ink the back of the other journal card I made. Love it. Okay. Put that one there. move some stuff out of my way. It's getting a little tight. Parsley. Ooh. Oh, this one's pretty too. was something I wanted, a picture. No. Maybe I'll cut this little thing out. It can go in a snippet or something. Hmm. 
so William Shakespeare in this one. Now, put that there. What if What if I use this to back to back a tag? Okay. Knock my glue over. Being pretty quiet. I'm so sorry. Um, I believe these tags were sent to me in Happy Mail, and I also believe that they are a, a die. Don't know which one. I think I'll keep these in case I want to make another one. Okay. Just check and see if there's anything rosy on the back I want to use. Nope. off at the same time. I'm trying to find a the word rose.
going to pause while I find a um, punch that I want. Okay, I did find the punch I was looking for. This one, it's uh, Recollections, so it's from Michaels. And I punched out a teeny tiny tag. It says Rose. Now, I'm going to use my sanding buddy. I'm going to take... some of the image off in the center. Not the edge for a change. I'm just dirtying it up a little. And I'm gonna fussy cut this little guy. Because he's the same or sh shoot I was gonna say she <laughs> but um, I don't think oh well, maybe they do maybe flowers have genders oh I think that's wine bottle Change my mind, I'm not going to keep the leaf. I just want a little piece of netting. So hard. <laughs> so hard with this lace because you can't tell like it's sewn together but you can't tell where's the sewing stitches so I can pull this part so I just have to cut it
Okay. Blue boogers off there. I want to put a little hole on this tag, so I will use a pokey tool. I had a pokey tool. Maybe I'll use my pin here. I believe we need a little piece of thread. Need a very big piece. I'm going to fold this in half. Put the cut ends through the hole of the needle. Again with feeling. Okay. Now, usually I go front to back, so I'm going to go back to front because I want the loop to be on the back of this. single piece of thread. I'm just going to wrap it around my fingers. And put some glue here. I'll just use my pin here to pull some of those threads apart. There. There, that thread itself looks like a rose almost. I 
it needs a what do you call it a little bread by which of course I mean an eyelet I remember now I used the big punch, not the little one. This one's kind of a beige color. Stand up so I can see what you look like. Yeah, I don't have a lot of options here. Good color, wrong size. That one looks like a dirty, beat up pink one. Okay, so I'm <clears throat> prepared to go with the dirty, beat up pink one. Not green. There's no green in there. All right. this will be prepared to go through like that. Perfect, perfect. <coughs> Excuse me so much. Um, just see if there's anything else I'd like to add to that. I love tiny little collages like this. dimensional or yeah <laughs> it's, it's gonna be three-dimensional but uh, yeah so that's not a thing I do kind of like this square one though and I also like like this rhinestone, but that's too big and too too too. Look at that. Mm. I'm gonna have to get some bling going in on my life here because I've been craving some bling. Uh okay, little square. The little, these little things actually did come with uh, a pattern. This 
So, what if I got this picture of roses here? Make sure this is the one that is going to go there. Okay. Okie dokie. There it is. Leave it a fit. Taking just a whisker off and then getting my glossy accents. needs to be poked. Come on, you. Mm. So frustrating. Needs another little cut. I'm just pushing the picture down in there. And then covering it with glossy accents. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay, now I'm going to have to set this aside, but I will glue that on when it is dry. There, you can go there to dry. Next, how are we doing for time? Oh my gosh, we're over an hour. So... <clears throat> You know, I'm having way too much fun. So, 
I think I'm going to continue working on this book. Um, but I'll record it and share it for Tuesday. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. All right. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.